What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I got this beautiful little banded rudder fish. I'm going to show you guys how to flay it, how to clean it, how to skin it, and how to process it so you guys can enjoy it at home. So for today's fillet demo, I'm going to be using an 8 inch Dexter flexible fillet, which comes with an edge guard. It's this really cool protective sheath. So if you guys want to stick it in your tackle box or your knife bag or something, it keeps your hands and your blade protected. So let's begin. As with any fish, I always feel around the head meat to see where the soft part of the head meat ends, which I can see is right around here. So we're going to go in around the pec fin right here down to that fin right there now what i like to do is take the tip of my knife and we're just going to outline this banded rudder fish from the head all the way down to the tail once i got that i'm going to take my knife rest it on the fish's spine and just work my way up making sure that i can feel the spine the entire time We do that until we get to the backbone, which is right here along the center of the fish. Once I do that, I take my knife and there's going to be a set of pin bones right here that attach to the rib cage. You're going to want to lift up with one hand and break through those pin bones. I've just freed the pin bones. Now we're going to have to go with our knife on top of the rib cage and down on the other side of the fillet. Get on the other side of the backbone and now just finish out your fillet just like so. And voila, there you have it. There is one side of your banded rudderfish. You guys see this is where that rib cage was. Side real quick, we're gonna flip our fish around. When I get to this side, I'm right-handed, so I like to work from the head to the tail. So what I'll do is get my knife right here, and same thing, go from the head all the way down to the tail, very superficially on the fish's spine, just outlining our fillet. Then what I like to do is I'm going to go from the tail to the head now, get my knife on the fish's spine, and just separate that fillet. And having this flexible fl fillet really makes it easy to, uh, you know, contour to the fish's body. They look kind of like a really small amberjack or almaco jack, but they're a smaller species in the same family. So now that we got that, same thing we did on the other side, we're going to get right here around the head meat, right there, around the pec fin down to that fin. Same thing, once again, we gotta break through the pin bones. The pin bones are right here along the lateral line and they, they attach the rib cage to the fillet. So you wanna take your knife and break through them. You'll know when you break through them because now you're gonna be able to see the rib cage. Now that we see the rib cage, we're gonna try to glide over it and go on the other side of this backbone. Here's the backbone right here. Get your knife on the other side of the backbone free your fillet. Once we got that, just continue to finish. And that's it. So here is the other side of our banded rudderfish. And there you guys have it. That's what it looks like all filleted out. Another reason I like this knife is because it's good for filleting, but it's also good for skinning. For a skinning knife, you want something relatively long in reference to the blade. That way you can make it from side to side of your fillet. And you also want it to have some flex. So starting right here by the tail, we're gonna get as close to the skin as possible, but be slightly above it. And I like to trail with my left hand to kind of see what my knife is doing. And you gotta be careful because any species of the amberjack family, like almaco jacks, banded rudderfish, greater amberjacks, they all have relatively th um, thin skin. So you guys see I leave a very thin layer of meat on there 
And this is stuff that I would have gotten rid of in my filet anyway, because you see that there's a lot of fibrous and real bloodline type stuff in there. Now is where you're really going to fine tune your fish. So those pin bones that I told you about, they run about halfway from the head down to the tail. You can feel them. This one actually runs a little bit more than halfway. You could take them out with tweezers, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to take my knife on one side of the pin bones. Take my knife on the other side of the pin bones. Lift up, cut this out. And this is that real red gamey piece of the fish anyway, that you're going to want to get rid of. Now, if you have any bit of the ribs in your fillet left, you can really um, closely just shave them off like that. You know, since we're going to eat this fresh, I'm going to leave this bloodline in. But if you wanted to freeze it or you're going to eat it a couple days later, I highly recommend removing any of this bloodline because that's what's going to essentially ruin your fish. That's what's going to give it that real oily, fishy flavor. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're interested in the knife that I used today, you guys can find it linked below or at DexterOutdoors.com. Till the next one, see ya.